Hey guys, so I've been sitting in my car for a little bit because I'm enjoying the quiet. I'm listening to the rain come down, I'm watching it, and I'm enjoying the quiet. But my neighbor is now outside and he's probably thinking I'm absolutely insane. But anyway, I might as well get used to it. <laughs> um, so this week has been, uh, this week has been interesting. It's been a little, little hard to be honest with you. So I woke up Saturday morning at like two o'clock in the morning, completely sick. Absolutely miserable. And an hour later, Ethan comes in, same thing. Stomach pains, completely sick. So him and I were down Saturday and Sunday, completely down. Like there was no, I slept a lot. Um, my sister, you know, she obviously took care of her kids. Um, and then I had to like door dash Seth food because Seth was the only one <laughs> um, surviving. So I got him some food and Monday I was, I thought I was in the clear. I was like, oh, I feel so much better. So I Instacarted some groceries to the house. Cause I was like, we need something for dinner. Uh, keep in mind, my sister also had a really nasty head cold. So she wasn't feeling good. And my youngest nephew was not feeling good either. Like her son. Um, so he was really sick. So she was home because she wasn't feeling good. And her, her littlest was not feeling good. So she couldn't go out and do anything. I couldn't go anywhere and get groceries. Um, so when Monday rolled around, we needed groceries. So I, you know, I did an Instacart order, um, made a pot roast and I was able to eat the pot roast just fine. Um, then Tuesday, Tuesday wasn't good. <laughs> uh, Tuesday and Wednesday were awful. And today is Thursday and I just kind of feel semi-normal. Food still feels weird in my stomach. Um, I can't really eat a whole lot. I'm still just nibbling on crackers. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to stick to the brat diet for a couple of days. But woke up today. I keep feeling like he's right here because I can hear him. <laughs> um, but I woke up today and my sister's sick now with the stomach bug. So not only does she have the head cold, she has the stomach bug that I had. So it's going to circle around her kids, I'm sure too. Seth said he feels kind of eh today, so I feel like he's probably going to be getting it in the next day or two, which is not going to be good. Um, but I'm going to try to make a grocery list tonight so I can go get groceries for a couple of weeks. Uh, and get some stuff for the animals because I am going on vacation. I am taking my first solo vacation that does not, you know, entail me going from my mom's to the blue house alone, you know, when I was living at the blue house. Um, I am going on a vacation alone for the first time since Aaron passed. And I am excited, but I'm also extremely nervous because if something goes wrong, it's on me. And before, you know, if something went wrong, I knew I'd have Aaron. We kind of balanced each other out. Um, you know, if I was freaking out about something, he was really calm. And if he was freaking out about something, I was kind of the calm. But now it's like, it's just me. <laughs> it's just me. But, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go on vacations and I'm excited. I am doing three stops. So the first stop is visiting my dad for a couple of days and then we're going to go visit my brother for a couple of days and then after that uh, our third stop is the beach. I managed to find a hotel that was so cheap because I booked during the cheapest times for that month and I was able to get a hotel that is usually like $700 a night for like nothing. <laughs> for nothing um, because I booked during the off season and during like the, the days where they don't expect a lot of people. So um, I was able to get this really nice hotel. I'm like, you know what, for my first one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the hotel room. I've always been looking, I've been eyeing this hotel every single time we go and I was going to book it um, 
the year, like the summer after Aaron passed, um, obviously before he passed, that was the plan. But life changed that. So now I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it now. I've always wanted to go to this hotel. So I'm going to go. So that's what I'm doing. Um, again, completely terrified, but slightly excited <laughs> and praying it all goes smoothly. We'll see. We will see what happens and hopefully this is a good experience because I would love to continue to take trips with my kids without having to wait on family to go do these things because I feel like last summer I waited a lot on everybody else to do the things that I wanted to do. And I don't want to do that yet this year. I want to go do the things I want to do when I want to go do them and make sure, you know, I'm tackling my kids' bucket list for their summer and tackling my own bucket list for the rest of my life because the truth of the matter is it is my life now. It is not our life. And I think the first year I focused so much on the things we wanted to do together and what he would want me to do. And I didn't really have that aha light bulb moment until a few nights ago I had this dream and it was like something clicked and I woke up and it was like the lights turned on for the first time in a year and a half. And I realized this is my life. Yes, I would have loved it to still be our life and, you know, doing the things that we wanted to do together. But the truth is this is now my life and I have to figure out what is going to make me happy. Obviously, I'm still keeping him in mind when it comes to raising the kids. But at the end of the day, he's not here anymore. So I have to make the best decisions for the boys myself and what I want for them in their future, what I want for myself in the future. Um... And I think the biggest thing he really would have wanted anyway is that I lived a happy, fulfilling life. Same with the boys. So, I don't know. It was just kind of like this aha moment of I need to start focusing on what I want now. And that's the plan. That is my plan. Focus on me and my boys now. And going from there. But the reason I'm in my car <laughs> was because I had to go to the library and pick up a couple books that I had sent to the one closest to me. Now, when I say the one closest to me, this is one is like five minutes away. <laughs> the other ones are downtown or about 10 minutes away. Um, and the books that I wanted, of course, weren't at the same library. So I just had them sent to the, the one that does not give me parking anxiety. <laughs> But it is not open on the weekend, so I did have to go today to pick it up because it was the last day for me to pick it up. But I grabbed Lisa Kleypas, Secrets of a Summer Night. This is the only historical romance writer that I can read. I always borrow the historical romance books because I don't reread them. Some of them I don't even really enjoy, so we'll see how that one goes. And then this one, The City of Brass. I am not even going to try to pronounce the last name. I've been eyeing this one for a very long time, but I was uncertain if it was one that I am going to enjoy and want on my bookshelf. Uh, and for $26, I was like, ee, yeah, nope, we're going to borrow that from the library. So I'm going to give these a read, see how I feel about them. And I'll let you guys know my wrap up. It probably won't be until April, April's wrap up because we are on the last day of March today, which is crazy. But yeah, do some grocery shopping tomorrow. I'm going to try to get a whole bunch of videos edited. So that way when I am on vacation, you guys will still have some things to uh, obviously see. And then when I'm on vacation, I have family that is going to be staying here at my house to watch Hunter and the kitty cats. Um, so I can make sure that they're okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's all that I really needed to update you guys on. But there's obviously a ton more, but I think that's, that's where I'm going to end that because I feel like if I share some other things, it might get a little too personal. But what I will say, my advice for those of you that are just starting your widow journey or 
are about to, unfortunately. Keep this in the back of your mind, guys. If you don't have an accountant, I highly suggest you get one because they know things that you technically wouldn't. Um, I am on my last year as being able to file as a widow. Um, so I've got a, a little wiggle room uh, when it comes to my earnings. So I have a few big decisions to make, but I would not have known that if I didn't have an accountant. So my advice to you is definitely get an accountant. And I know that can be hard. That can be so hard when you have all this other stuff you have to deal with because now I have to hire an estate lawyer soon and um, a financial advisor soon. And I'm just like, oh gosh, it's so much. But thankfully, um, I worked at this accounting office and they know me and they've been the place that I've done my taxes for years and years and years and years. So I am blessed in that aspect that they, you know, know me as well as they do. Um, I can't imagine how that would feel if it was someone brand new, but thankfully I'm, I'm blessed to have an accountant that I've had for many, many years and she will continue to be my accountant for as long as she does it. <laughs> um, but anyway, definitely suggest getting an accountant to help you navigate that whole thing when it comes to all that and any questions you have tax wise and then again if you can do the financial advisor do that and an estate lawyer um so i don't know it's just a lot but anyway just want to let you guys know i had my aha moment my light bulb moment if you will and things don't seem so gray. They're not as bright, <laughs> but they don't seem as gray. So oh, I hope you guys are doing better than we were and you have not gotten this stomach virus because the cramps that came with the stomach virus were intense. But anyway, I'm gonna go in now because I've hidden my car long enough and uh, maybe read a little bit and do laundry and clean the house. I need to bleach it down so nobody else gets this mess, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.